Hi folks, it's Mike Can. I wanted to give you a quick update on uh, the story Fast and Furious. Covered it a little bit on my show, Two Hotheads on Cannabis. Um, you've also seen it a little bit on the news, Fox News and CBS News covering it. Dan Ray's show on WBZ also has been covering it. But for the most part, the mainstream media has blocked this story out for over two years. It should be the biggest scandal in President Obama's presidential term by far. It should be the biggest scandal of the last 30 years. Um, the U.S. government was selling uh, illegal guns to Mexican drug cartels. A border agent named Brian Terry was killed. The U.S. Justice Department, who's supposed to be enforcing the laws, the people who were raiding our medical marijuana dispensaries, those folks sold guns to Mexican drug cartels, an element that uh, is involved in drug trafficking. And uh, this is just another reason why we need to end the war on drugs. And uh, I just want to make sure that everyone's talking about this story, aware of this story, that uh, we remember to spread the word. Uh, if you're a blogger, write all about Fast and Furious. Keep it going, promote it. Uh, if you're a Facebook person, post the links, find the videos, post this video, find other videos. Promote this story wherever you are. Get the word out because this is the hidden history that's happened and people need to be aware that our government is completely corrupt because of the war on drugs. Brian Terry would not be dead today if the war on drugs did not exist. I mean, it's as simple as that. Our government would not be so corrupt if the war on drugs did not exist. This is a way that they can keep their corruption going. So if you really want to end the corruption, you know what to do. Spread the word on Fast and Furious. Let's get the word out. Let's make sure everybody knows about this story. Don't let the Obama administration cover it up. This is an election year. If you get a chance to ask the president a question or any of these candidates running for Congress, ask them about Fast and Furious. Explain that you're very upset that guns went to Mexican drug dealers, that you want to see the war on drugs end, that you're sick of this corruption that never ends because we continue to fund the same scumbags. Noriega, we funded him. He was a drug dealer. Uh, Saddam Hussein, uh, bin Laden, now we're sending guns to Mexican drug dealers. I mean, this is ridiculous. The war on drugs, it needs to end. And uh, I also wanted to give a big shout out to uh, my friends. You can see the shirt that I'm wearing. KOP Productions, the King of Pot .com. Um, they They've been such good friends, Mike and Valerie. I, I just can't say it enough. I know I've said it a lot in my videos and my show recently, but I want everyone to know that I really appreciate the support that I get, and especially from these two folks. They've given me so much good uh, life advice, um, advice on this, the, this work that I do. Um, led to some big changes this year, and I'm really happy about where I'm going and uh, what's happening. And I just want to thank them again and thank them for making sure that uh, I continue to do what I should be doing. They, they've been uh, helping me out with funding and just greatest people. I'm so glad that they're in my life. And uh, I can't say enough about them. The King of Pot and Valerie Malta. Thank you so much. Check them out. Kingofpot.com. Ah, uh, you thought I was done, huh? Well, I just wanted to talk a little more about Fast and Furious. What were the motives of Fast and Furious? You ever hear an order out of chaos? You create chaos and then you come up with uh, all kinds of government and rules to, to correct the chaos that you created? Maybe that's the uh, purpose. If you go down to Mexico, you'll notice that uh, there's a lot of new U.S. offices in Mexico City. DEA, CIA, they're, they're moving in and uh, this, this gives them open reign to do so if uh, there's blood in the streets because the Mexican government can't stop it. So let's bring in the U.S. feds who actually created it by sending in the guns. There's also the issue of uh, the Obama administration being anti-gun and they want to take away the guns from Americans. So there's two motives. And uh, the third motive could be that they've aligned with uh, drug dealers. Very similar to uh, Iran-Contra where uh, the U.S. government was alleged to have brought in a lot of drugs through the Contras to uh, fund some of their illegal activities. Maybe it's happening again. I mean, if you look at uh, the Bush, Clinton years, Obama, very similar. It, it seems like either party, no matter who it is, there's always shady, corrupt things going on.